Hey folks, thanks for tuning back into the Colonial Airstream channel. Joe Welch is here with another Service Tech Tip video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about your RV refrigerator, specifically Domenic, Norcold, and Novacool brands. Today, we're gonna to go over refrigerator operation and the best practices when storing. So come on, follow me. This model in particular is equipped with a 12 volt Novacool fridge. This guy will run off your converter if you're plugged into 110. Also, it can run and stay charged off your alternator or your solar panels. It's very simple to use, very efficient, and you just wanna keep that switch on on the inside to keep that running as long as you have 12 volt power, you're plugged in and your disconnect is on. So to go over the hardware on this Novacool, when you're traveling, you wanna have this travel latch out and engaged so the door won't open while you're going down the roadway. But when you go to open the fridge, you want to move this out of your way. You're going to lift the Novacool tab and then pull. That'll open your fridge door. And you can see on the inside, there's a dial there. That's not just your temperature settings going from one to lucky number seven. Um, zero is actually off for the fridge itself entirely. So keep in mind that turning this on, it'll take a few hours to cool down. It will be relatively quickly because this is an efficient system, but you want to wait till it's nice and cold before you get ready for use. Taking a look in our international Airstream here, it's a bit of a larger unit. In this unit, we have a Dometic style fridge. This one can take five to seven hours to get up to temperature, so a lot of people will plug this in overnight. So remember, give yourself ample time to get this guy up to temperature before you set off on your adventure. Taking a look inside, we're going to have to pull the handles out in order to disengage the latch there. And here you can see your control panel. For this most lift, we have on off here, these light indicators show whether you're running on your AC 110 power or your LP gas. This auto setting will prioritize whichever one is running to it, AC first over gas. This light will go off if the temperature setting's off, if the fridge door has been left open or anything is going on, this light will come on and the fridge will beep at you to alert you. And over here we have the cycle through our temperature settings, five being our coldest. Jumping into this Airstream model, we have another 12 volt refrigerator. This one is made by Norcold, a staple of the RV industry, and this one is exclusively 12 volt. This one also has an easy to use control panel, just like its Dometic counterpart. On this control panel furthest most left is our power button, followed by our temperature setting, again five being the coldest. To the right of that, we have our fridge and freezer selection buttons, if you wanted to run one independently. And that is followed by one of my favorite features, an incredible feature exclusive to Norcold called a night mode button. So this is actually going to reduce the speed of our compressor and therefore reduce the sound that the fridge is gonna make while you're trying to sleep. It is worth mentioning that this button will also maintain the temperature of the fridge. But just like the Dometic, we need to wait about five to seven hours for this guy to run up to temperature. So it's pretty simple. When you're done here, make sure to remove all the foods from the freezer and the fridge. I always tell folks that it is very good to wipe out all the moisture, anything left over, maybe with a Clorox wipe or something of this like. And we're just gonna clean up all our surfaces here. We're just gonna kill any bacteria that's left behind and anything that would later cause our fridge to smell. Second and most important is to make sure that you're propping your refrigerator doors open when you're done using them. This is gonna allow her to breathe and just make sure that no moisture is gonna build up and later turn into mold. Dometic, for example, provides these convenient airing cards that are easily installed on our hinges here to catch the latch and hold our door open. Trust me, this is one of the number one problems we see here. You just want to avoid mold buildup however you can. If you don't have airing cards, however you can prop the doors open and allow them to stay open is fine, just as long as you can do it. Remember, proper maintenance and care will keep your Airstream healthy and happy for years to come. Before we end this video, we'd really appreciate if you could hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you found this video helpful or you have any other questions for us, reach out to us at cloningairstream.com or give us a call at 800-265-9019. As always, my name is Joe Welches, and I'll see you guys in the next Colonial Service Tip video.